For now, we'll go live outside into Rodoso, New Mexico this morning. And as we've been watching this clouds build, so moisture around. And I know, Bernie, when you look at the camera, you see the mountains in the background. You see the mountains in the background. And I'm going to show you a, 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 a topographical map of Rodoso. The other thing I see is oftentimes it's just a bright blue sky. That moisture in the form of clouds tells me there's more thunderstorms around as we go through today. I want to show you Rudoso right now. It is south of Albuquerque. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And one thing that you notice here is that the village is surrounded, and I mean surrounded, by mountains to the north, the east, the south, and the west. And guess what? Anytime rainfall falls in any of these mountains, it could not drop. It may dr rain a drop in Rudoso itself, but the mountains, all this water runs away from the mountains down into the valleys, right? Think of it as rain hits hitting your roof. Where does it end up? In the rain cover in one central location, and that central location is the valleys. That's the problem when you live near mountains like this. It's beautiful, but it comes with a lot of danger. Want to show you the radar here as we head toward two, let's say noon, not much going on, not much going on. Let's take you right now to two o'clock local time. Here come the thunderstorms starting to form. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Here they are west of Ruidoso right now. Watch them slowly move east. And keep in mind, all of these thunderstorms slow moving already starting to produce rain into the mountains. There it goes, that red showing you some heavier rain. We're at about 2.14 local time. Let's play it forward as the thunderstorm slowly pushes to the east. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because you're going to see another thunderstorm popping up here. There it is, north and west of Ruidoso. There we are at 2.49 local time. Let's take it to about five, uh, 3 o'clock local time. Here comes the rain in the surrounding mountains and in the village itself. That area continues to push south, so it rains hard there for it looks like about an hour. This is about 3.30, so from about 2.30 to 3.30 mountain time, the thunderstorms come on through about three to four inches of rain in the area now. That doesn't sound like a lot, but remember, all of that rain is collecting in the same areas, and that's why you had the flash flooding here. Take a look at the 24-hour rainfall, and you can just see just areas, small areas that picked up over two to three inches of rain, but when you have terrain aiding in the flash flooding, that's what happened in Ruidoso. All right, what's going to happen today? Some concerns, some concerns, because you have an area of high pressure. First of all, you see this clockwise rotation here. What's going on? You have an area of high pressure that is uh, across northeastern parts of Arizona here. And on the northern flank of that, you have little ripples of energy on the northeastern flank of that high and little areas of moisture. You see that now? Listen, it's not a lot. But when you get moisture over the higher terrain in the western U.S., thunderstorms start firing up over the mountains. This is one of the main reasons why we have a southwest monsoon in the desert southwest. You get moisture over the mountains, and the thunderstorms start forming over those mountains, and then they move out into the valleys. Not much going on now, but you can see there's the moisture, and watch what happens this afternoon. They start firing up. Now, they do not look as heavy and as uh, strong as they were yesterday, but they're still going to be able to produce some flash flooding in spots. And Ruidoso, to me, looks to me like there's going to be a thunderstorm around. You can see a couple of them. They don't look as intense or as heavy, but I'm still worried about flash flooding with these. What's going to happen in the future? That upper high pushes off to the west-southwest. There it goes. Now, earlier I thought there could be some drawing tomorrow, but you can see a lot of energy here coming across New Mexico as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So I am afraid that that energy will spark additional thunderstorms tomorrow. Some of it could be heavy. We're hoping we dry things out a little bit on Friday.